Tea here. I have a really exciting story I want to read to y'all today. Today our story is called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? We're actually going to read this story together in a couple minutes here, um, but I think I need someone to help me to read this story to you all. Um, she's not here at the moment, so I think we're going to have to go find her. So come on. Hey friends. Okay, so I found her and here she is. Friends, this is Lucille. This is Miss T's dog. We also call her Nugget, and she's going to read the story with you all today. So get excited. We're going to go ahead and find a comfy spot for us to get all set and read the story together, all right? Hey, friends. This is Miss T and Lucille. We got our cozy spot, and we're ready to read our book. So again, today's book is called How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids? This is written by Tim Rath and Mary Reckmeyer, illustrated by Maury J. Manning. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. Stay back, you'll knock it over. I'm big. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. I can be very careful. Felix and thwack! Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped and the cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom, you should have used a stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drips spilt out. Drip. Drip. Ha ha ha, Anna laughed as she crunched the syrup with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded Mom. When the school bus was honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheat and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite... Bosser jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like it. Drip. Psst, Felix. Psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. It was morning and Felix's bucket almost fell empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and they ooed at the scary parts. When Felix read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. The Gigantosaurus Rex 
who wanted a pet by me, Felix. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's a baseball. Catch. Drop, drop. Thanks, dude. Hey, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm a mirror. Drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought, Dogs might have an invisible bucket, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Wah! Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. The end. Hey friends, and that's it for our story today. Thanks so much for tuning in uh, to Miss T's Tune In and reading How Full Is Your Bucket for Kids with me and Lucille. We're gonna go beat it and go have a little break now. So thanks, be good, be kind, and find your bliss. Thank you all, I'll see you later. Bye.